All right, hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Mermaid.js. Mermaid.js will help you to make flowchart sequences, Gantt class, state, pie charts, all these things. Um, they've got lots of documentation. You can look here for all of this. Here are the diagrams getting started. I'm just going to show you how I set this up. So this is a flowchart. And down here, I have a pie chart. And the flowchart just took was just all of this and the pie chart was pretty simple. All I had to do is write this. Um, I did make a mermaid.svelte component. So this is setting up the mermaid, uh, the mermaid component. So you'll need to npm install mermaid like that. And then you'll import it here into your mermaid component. You can import on mount and then on mount, you'll initialize this mermaid component. So you'll need to do that. This isn't required theme, um, but if you want to change the theme, you can do that. And you can have it as a prop if you'd like. And then down here, you just have div class mermaid and you put a slot. That way you can pass in the mermaid markdown like this into your mermaid component. So here you'll see, um, I won't go through all of it. You can look it up, but um, basically you just have nodes and then you say what text will be in it. And then you'll point to, this is the in, kind of intermediate text, like here in between. And then this is the answer. So once you've defined, so B has been defined as this, then you can reuse it elsewhere, like right here, and it'll take you to that node. Okay, and then you can also do some styles down at the bottom. So these are SVGs, so you're gonna style them like SVGs. Um, here, I don't know how to change the colors, uh, maybe similarly, but I just got lucky and they're kind of match up with the color of the framework. Okay, uh, I think that's all. Uh, one little gotcha that I'll show you is if you want to use, so in the mermaid markdown, they do use brackets. If you want to use those brackets, then you're going to have to kind of trick Svelte into rendering those brackets by putting it in a JavaScript string. So then it'll get rendered out as this. And in this case, what that does is make a diamond. So that'll make a diamond like this. If you want that, uh, there's also double curly brackets. Lots of things you can look at it and find it all here in their documentation. So please like and subscribe, give them a star. Um, I also have a Patreon. If you want to become a Patreon, that'd be awesome. And that is all. Thanks. Bye.